There is the Soyuz TMA-19M. For those of us just joining our broadcast, uh, we are just uh, eight and a half minutes away from touchdown. A good view of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft uh, descending under its parachute. The Soyuz uh, nearing uh, its touchdown point southeast of the town of Jezkazgan. And we're standing by for touchdown. The Soyuz is home. Touchdown confirmed at uh, 4.15 a.m. Central Time. And now uh, video has been uh, reestablished uh, from the landing site. A good view of Yuri Malenchenko, uh, the uh, Soyuz commander. And uh, Tim Peake, uh, the first British astronaut to fly on the International Space Station. Peake uh, completing uh, his first mission. Malenchenko completing six flights into space and a total of 828 days away from the planet, second most on the all-time list behind uh, fellow cosmonaut Gennady Padalka. Raise the legs up. Okay, everyone's doing their job. <laughs> Doc, if you want the fan connect. All three crew members now out of the Soyuz vehicle. It's going. Is that good? I think it's going to already. Tim, do it. Is it blowing? It's, it's all good? It's all good. Yeah, I mean, it was just real picturesque. And there, there goes Copra right now. Uh, we were able to see it in the helicopters almost the entire way down under chute. And like I said, able to see those soft landing engines and everything fire, and that was just unreal to see, you know, from a helicopter just a few hundred feet away. Well, Dan, uh, thanks very much. Uh, enjoy that weather. It's not uh, often uh, that we uh, experience uh, temperatures around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but uh, Everything appeared to go by the book, and uh, we'll uh, await uh, further reports from you when you get back uh, with the crew in Karaganda.